Hey, what's going on guys? Normally I'm playing airsoft on a beautiful day like this, but today I'm doing my other favorite hobby, and that is racing on the Dutch TT in Essen. So you've just seen my motorcycle, a Suzuki GSX-R 2007 600cc. It's a mid-range engine bike, but quick enough for a track like this at TT Assen. I've already done a few track days and that went really well and had some really good training. But today is an official race where I'm driving against 45 other drivers. It's going to be beautiful, we've got this camera, we've got cameras on board and I'm going to bring you in my experience on my first race.
six in our class, but our class is quite unusual. We got a thousand CC bikes and we got 600 CC bikes. They are not competing against each other, they are competing with each other. Meaning a thousand CC is just battling for a podium between a thousand CC and a 600 CC is just battling for a 600 CC for a podium. Makes sense, right? So in our group, I got a second time on the 600 CC, meaning I'm starting on P6, but my time is actually the second fast. Let's get on with the race in one and a half hour, just for some water, relax a bit, and then go for the race. Okay guys, race just ended and as you can see it was a photo finish, literally a photo finish. I wasn't doing the best lap times this time, I was quite exhausted 
had some stress going on and my focus wasn't really working. So I made some mistakes here and there, lost a lot of time, and suddenly on the start to finish, some guy was line to line to me when I was crossing the finish line. Eventually, it was 0.016 of a difference. That's like that kind of difference. I'm so amazed that I've won it. However, this is the lowest class, like the starting class. And because of the results that I've done today, I will be promoted to a faster class. So I'll probably get a bit back in the field, but much more to learn. I hope you enjoyed it. So on this day, I was about to end the video on my racing experience on my first day. Had to race one and was really pleased with my results on that day. But five days later, I held brake loose and I crashed my bike. Unfortunately, my bike is completely wrecked and I will show you some footage in a bit. But first I would like to explain what has really happened that day. I went on a practice session, it was a beautiful day, had new rear tires and new front tires, even better ones than I was driving the week before. And unfortunately, at some turn, I lost my rear end and I got high-sided off my motorcycle. I will first show you some clips where I'm going much quicker than I was going on the race day. And then I will show you all the bits from my crash that happened at the same moment. As you can see, I'm entering the corner slightly different than the one before because I just passed someone and I put on too much throttle while on a leaning angle. The rear loses grip, I close my throttle right away as an instinct and the rear regains grip. Meaning that all the physics and stuff that goes on in the motorcycle, you get lifted off from your bike. It wasn't really quite heavily, so I thought I could still maybe control it, but I didn't. I flipped over my bike, landed on my back and started rolling at 130 kilometers an hour and my bike followed me flipping around as you can see it's it's all broken up luckily there wasn't really a major major injury i had a good defensive suit on and and proper protection overall but i still had some really sore feet i was laying there in the gravel and i was like fuck my feet hurts and then i was like mm, my adrenaline level is like this high i'd rather stay low instead of trying to go up and find my bike or whatsoever and just wait for the medics and for the marshals to come around and help me up and that eventually happened, I got put in the car to the medical center. They did all kind of checks on me and they said, yeah, your foot might be broken or it might be bruised, we're not quite sure. So we're gonna send you to the hospital where they do some x-rays and stuff. And that's where we are right now. We're now five, six weeks ahead. Luckily it wasn't broken. It was just really heavily bruised and I healed quite a bit. My foot was like this big. I'll show you a picture on the side. Is that really a pleasant picture to see? Uh, I could barely walk for two, three weeks, uh, but now I'm doing quite fine. So unfortunately, this race season is over. I will have to sell this bike in parts because it's not really usable anymore. Next year, we'll see what goes on. I really like the, the, the racing and the driving on the, on the track, but unfortunately, stuff like this happens. It's part of the sport, I know that. A minor injury for me this time could have been much worse at that speed, at that angle. Um, I'm just lucky, lucky to still sit here and talk about my experience, about my first race win and then five days later, crashing my bike, wrecking it, got slightly injured myself, but I'm still all good. At this point, my main focus is on getting back onto the field for airsoft gameplays. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. Even if you like the motorcycle view, and this is the first video you found, I'm mainly an airsofter. I will still keep doing that. So from now on, I will focus on airsoft gameplays until maybe next season, who knows, a new bike. I don't know. I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.